Hi Pisces, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your August 28th through September 3rd weekly reading. We'll see what comes up, if it's love or not. Thank you to all my supporters, I appreciate that. I'll zoom this in after I lay out the cards. Maybe are you pretending that you don't have feelings for somebody? I mean, that's what it looks like to me. Maybe you're pretending you don't have feelings for somebody. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Maybe, you know, there's a new feeling of emotion. And uh, maybe you're trying to pretend that, you know, it's not there. Um, yeah, that's what I see. And maybe you're concentrating on work, you know, to get through it. Maybe it's just like, you know, I don't have time for this person. I have to work. You know, there may be some feelings there, but I have to work. You know, and I think that you have, you, your intuition is very high. So you know this, and it's it's kind of scary. Um, I think things are happening very fast. Maybe your feelings are happen coming faster than you thought. You know, and you're just like, oh my God, this, this could be, this is too much for me. All right. Because, you know, you have to, to give your heart to somebody is, is, um, scary. I see that you're feel having conflicted thoughts over it. You know, you're having conflicted thoughts because you're not so sure you, you know, you want to acknowledge these feelings <laughs> could bring a lot of happiness. Okay. Could bring a lot of happiness. Um, in love okay and it looks like it here we have this is you've been working on something maybe you've been working on yourself or or um the relationship if you're already in a relationship that you've been really working on it and now or they've been working on it somebody's been working on it or you've been working on pretending that you can't you're you there's no feelings there it's not the real feelings, you know, it feels like you don't want to believe it, um, you know, that this, you might, you know, feel love, you know, and it's kind of scary, um, so that's what I see, um, you could have a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you could have a uh, Aries, Libra, Gemini, or a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. So you have several different signs here. Um, and it looks like maybe you have to, you know, acknowledge your feelings. <laughs> Yeah, yes, I think you have to acknowledge your feelings. I think that, you know, you've been trying to pretend, because this is the pretend card, you've been trying to pretend that there's, that you're not feeling the way you're feeling about somebody, but the fact is you really are feeling that way, so I think that you're feeling emotional, emotionally connected to somebody, maybe even feeling love towards somebody, but you're having these inner conflicts because, you know, that makes you vulnerable, you know, and you like to be, you know, strong, all right? And you protect yourself, all right? So I see that it can definitely lead to happily ever after, that's for sure. Or it seems, or happy, happy times ahead. Maybe not happily ever after, but that's just a figure of speech. Um, but a lot of happiness. 
um, I'm going to start shuffling the other deck. I think your your conflicts are within yourself. I think you have some insecurities. All right. I think that you have some inner insecurities with regard, regarding how who you are that um, causes you protect to pretend that you know you can't feel love or you can't offer love. You know. I think you have some insecurities and some inner conflicts. Um, but I think that this is something you can't ignore because. It's, it is. I think it's something you can't ignore because I think it's a strong thing and I think it's happened pretty fast. Um, I think that it could lead to something stable and very happy. If you want to stop pretending, okay? There's definitely a welling of a, a lot of love here. I think that you are feeling love and and and, and feeling kind of vulnerable over it. Um, this is the week of the 28th through September 3rd. So there is something happening. I mean, something is, is coming along that you've been waiting for. Um, I think it's been coming slowly, but it is coming along, and it's going to force a new journey upon you. Okay, so you're about to start a new journey. All right? And that's it's basically like um, when you change your thoughts or you change your fears or you let go of fears, you start something new. Here, this is starting something new. Okay. After a period of feeling despair or feeling like you could never get over something, all right, you know, like a, a complete devastation of some sort, you start over. That's what this is. Something is going to happen. Something is going to happen that is going because we have a tower here. This is the, this is like a false foundation that's get gets broke. To bring in something better, so the false foundation would be your inner conflicts, and would be and, and would be you feeling like you can't um, let yourself be vulnerable to love. Okay, that's false. Okay, so that gets broken down, and then things start to move forward. Okay, and that thought process dies, or something something dies during that time. Okay, which brings you into a new journey, makes you start something new. Okay, and it's it's a brand new journey, something that you don't have a lot of expertise in. All right, you know when something happens and something ends, you might feel sad, you might feel sad over it, you might feel hurt, but it's still, you know. It still is a blessing in disguise, all right? So I'm, I'm not sure what you're going to be letting go of. Like I said, oh, let's see what happened is, is I started reading for you. I started reading for you already, and I messed up. So I had to start over. And a couple times now when I'm talking, I've tried to bring that reading into this one. And I might just as well because it was, it was pretty, I mean, it was similar. Um, but now the thought is gone. But... Um, I see in the other one it was about you being feeling very generous with your love and being very kind, you know, but not wanting to um just like this be vulnerable. All right. Be vulnerable to love. Protect yourself. It's best to protect yourself. Okay, that's how I feel and that's how you're feeling. But you do have a welling of emotion. It's like a, a very emotional, loving week for you where you're feeling very, very loving. Okay? So it's all up to you whether you want to pretend or make yourself vulnerable. I see air sign, earth signs, 
and fire signs here. Wait, wait, not air signs. Earth signs, fire signs, and water signs. All right. Um, here we have letting something go. Letting something go. Oh, this is a Ten of Swords, and it's a thought, okay? It is. It's the thought of being afraid of love. Maybe it's being afraid of giving love because of previous sadness, previous hurt, previous loss, regrets, rejection. Maybe that's what you're letting go of. So that you can offer love fully and make yourself vulnerable. So anyway, Pisces, that's what I have for you for this week. I'm not going to go any further. You can get what you can get out of that. If it doesn't resonate with you, then that's the way it goes. You know, it's not going to resonate with anybody, with everybody. And, you know, I was, whatever. I will talk to you soon. Damn it, I never zoomed it in. Oh, well. Sorry about that.